In these problems, we're learning how to add fractions that have different denominators. The numbers on the bottom are different. And, you know, when the denominators are the same, you just add the number across the top and you get an answer. But when the denominators are different, you can't just simply add those. What you have to do is convert them to the same number. And this, uh, this set of problems shows you how to do that. You don't have to do all the work. You kind of have to try to understand it and then pick the right answer. But mostly these, uh, in these problems, they're doing the work for you. Let's look at this. It says, which adds 1 7th and 1 half after renaming them as fractions with denominators of 14? So what that means is we're going to convert 1 7th so that it has a denominator, a number on the bottom of 14, and 1 half so that it has a number on the bottom of 14. The way we do that is we multiply by some number. What would we have to multiply 7 by to get 14? Well, that answer would be 2, but we're going to multiply by a fraction that is that number over itself. You might remember that any number over itself is the number 1. If you punch this into a calculator, 2 divided by 2, you'd get 1. So when we multiply 1 7th by 2 over 2, we're really multiplying it by 1, which doesn't change that number. So what this becomes is really another form of 1 7th, just, just renaming the fraction. Well, let's finish this multiplication. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 7 is 14. So we get 2 fourteenths. Let's do the same thing with 1 half. The question we want to ask ourselves is, how do we get that 2? What do we multiply by that to get 14? Well, it would be 7. So we multiply the whole fraction by 7 over 7 so that we're multiplying it by the number 1 and it's not really changing. Multiply across the top, we get 7. Multiply across the bottom, we get 14. So 7 fourteenths is the same thing as 1 half. Just as 2 fourteenths is the same thing as 1 seventh. Now, because they have the same denominators, we could add them. And when we add fractions with the same denominators, we simply add the number across the top and put it over the denominator. So 2 plus 7 is 9. You put that over 14, and that is your answer. So we just have to find which one of these choices looks like that. Let's see. Here we have 2 14 plus 7 14 equals 9 14, so it looks like B is our answer there. Let's try another one of these. This next one is actually a little bit easier. It says, which subtracts 1 half from 5 sixths after renaming 1 half as a fraction with a denominator of 6. So to get the common denominator here, we leave the 5 sixths alone. We're just changing the 1 half. So a little less work. Which subtracts 1 half from 5 6? So the problem is going to look like this. 5 6 minus 1 half, except we're going to change that 1 half so it's in 6 equals something or other. Well, how do we change the 1 half so that it's in 6? What would we multiply this denominator 2 by? Well, it should be 3, so we're going to multiply by 3 over 3. When we do this multiplication, 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, we get 3 sixths. So that is 1 half. So we can substitute that in. 5 6 minus 3 sixths equals, well, let's see, now that our denominators are the same, we can just do the subtraction across the top. 5 minus 3 is 2 sixths. Although, at this point, you probably want to um, reduce the fraction. If you take a 2 out of the top and the bottom, you would get 1 third. And if, let's see if we can find something here. This one has, uh, this one says 5 6 minus 3 6 equals 2 6 equals 1 third. That looks like our answer. All right, one more. This one says, which adds 1 fourth and 2 thirds after renaming them as fractions with denominators of 12? So we're going for a denominator of 12. Neither of these are 12 to start with. We're going to have to change both of them. So 1 fourth, how do you get 12? You multiply by 3. So we'll multiply by 3 over 3. That's going to equal 3 twelfths. Let's try that with the 2 thirds. What do we multiply the denominator by to get 12? Well, that would be 4, so we'll multiply by 4 over 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 3 times 4 is 12. Now we can add them together. We have 3 twelfths plus 8 twelfths. Oops, not 18. 8 twelfths equals, well, 3 plus 8 is 11 twelfths. And it looks like the right answer here is going to be C. 
So that is a little bit about how to rename fractions so that they have common denominators and then you can add or subtract them.